Richard Riakpour stops Fabio Turchi in the second round with a body shot. Well, actually, they pronounce his name Turkey rather than Turchi, but I don't want to call man a turkey. <laughs> Even though he might have gone out like a turkey in the ring there. A turkey is a word that people use to describe uh, a, a poor movie. That's an old school term. People say, oh, that was an absolute turkey, that film. Uh, is this guy, or could you describe this opponent as a turkey? Maybe it's accurate, but I prefer, prefer to call him Turchi, pronounce his name phonetically. So yeah, Richard Riakpour takes out Fabio Turchi in the second round with a body shot. Now, I had a quick look at Turchi prior to the fight, and he seemed pretty basic. He seemed like a guy who didn't have much power there. And I hadn't seen his fight with Tommy McCarthy, but he did lose a split decision to McCarthy back in 2019. And all of his fights bar one up until that stage, no, excuse me, uh, yeah, one there against Demetrius Banks. And the Tommy McCarthy fight, where are we at? Was in Italy as well. So only one fight outside of Italy in his whole career up until he fought Richard Riakpour. And that's not a good sign. No disrespect to any Italians out there, but Italy these days isn't exactly a hotbed of boxing talent, is it? <laughs> so if you're having all your fights in Italy, you're probably no great shakes at this stage. I know Italy over the decades has had some good fighters, but in recent years, they've really had nobody. So I wasn't expecting much from this guy against Richard Riakpour, and we didn't get much. Now, he did hit Riakpour with a clean, I think it was right hook in the first round. There wasn't apparently much uh, power on it, but he did manage to land a shot. Uh, in the second round, Richard Riakpour swiped Turchi's body with a left hook, and Turchi went down in agony, seemingly. Uh, he did manage to get up, but the corner intervened, threw in the towel and the fight was stopped. That's why it's officially recorded as a retirement in round two by Fab Fabio Turchi. Now look, I'm the first one to tell you that body shots can be tremendously debilitating. And if you get hit in the floating rib, sometimes a shot can look relatively innocuous, but if it lands in the right spot, it just takes all the wind out of you completely. But with this shot here, that React Paul landed on Fabio Turchi. It appeared, again, I can't say that this is exactly what happened because there are the limitations of the camera angles, but it appeared to kind of hit Turchi in, the, in, the, uh, in his abdominal muscles. And that's not really, especially if the punch is swiping across and it's a left hook, that's not really the kind of shot that you would expect to end a fight. You know, you'd expect a guy to go down in agony from. If he gets caught in the floating rib, yeah. But from the angles I saw, it didn't appear to catch him in the floating rib. And it didn't land square in the middle of his solar plate. If it landed square in the middle of his belly, right, sometimes that can get you as well. But it kind of grazed the cross. So, I don't know, I looked at it and thought, is that really a fight ending punch? You know, maybe the guy's vulnerable to the body. Maybe he's like Keith Thurman or something, you know? But yeah, I, I wasn't, I was, I, was, I was scratching my chin a little bit when I saw that knockout, if you want to call it that. And I'm not the person to start jumping up straight away and calling fights fixed or saying somebody took a dive. You guys know me. Very rarely will I ever even suggest such a thing because I don't think it's anywhere near as common as many boxing fans seem to think it is. It happens, of course, fighters will take dives now and then, yes, but I don't think it's as common as, you know, literally every major heavyweight fight or every major boxer match where that ends in a knockout, there'll be someone in the comments saying it was a dive. <laughs> you can guarantee that. Even if the guy gets his head spun around, his head knocks off the canvas when he hits the canvas and his eyes are rolling up in the back of his head, there'll be someone in the comments saying it was a dive. That's just how it is. So yeah, I'm not quick to say stuff like that, but, and I'm not saying this was a dive either. I'm not trying to get sued here. I just wasn't totally convinced by that body shot, you know, that, that it was that hurtful. But like, 
again, I didn't get hit with it. Maybe it was one of those ones where it's deceptive and it's more damaging than it, than it appears to be. Because again, it didn't seem to land in a floating rib from the angles I saw. Maybe I'd, I didn't see the right angle or something. Anyway, um, as far as React Poor's performance, React Poor is far more similar to Deontay Wilder than Lawrence Akoli ever was. People would always compare Akoli to Wilder. I never saw the comparison. Yeah, he's tall and lanky and awkward like Wilder, but stylistically, he's nothing like him. Stylistically, Akoli is a lot more conventional than Wilder. And he does a lot more than Wilder. He's just not someone moving around the ring looking to set up a big right hand. No, 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 no. Lawrence Akoli is doing a lot more than that in the ring. Whereas with Richard Riakpour, he's far more like Wilder where he's moving around and he's not really doing that much and he's just looking to set up a right hand. Now, in this instance, it weren't a right hand, it was a left hook. But generally with React Poor, it is a right hand. And he'll move about and not do that much, as we saw in his last fight, actually, against Juma. He wasn't really doing much. Juma was uh, getting shots off and doing this, that, and the other. And React Poor was just waiting for that perfect moment, trying to set up that perfect moment to land his fight-ending shot. And he got there of course, against Juma, and he got hit early against Turchi with the left hook to the body. Now, I'm not sure how far React Paul can go with this whole gig, <laughs> you know, just moving around and looking to land the right, the right hand. And old Deontay Wilder managed to get very far with it. But React Paul, even though he's a puncher, it remains to be seen whether he's the kind of puncher at cruiserweight that Wilder is at heavyweight. I suspect he isn't. And, and don't get it twisted, I think he's a very good puncher, but Wilder is an exceptional puncher. And I'm not sure whether React is really at that level in terms of puncher power at cruiserweight. Uh, also, Deontay Wilder is very fast. React is not that fast. I mean, Wilder is faster than React Paul, and Wilder's at heavyweight, React is at cruiserweight, right? So React is not that fast. He's not as athletically gifted, I don't think, as Wilder. So, yeah, I mean, you could call him what? I don't want to be disrespectful, but he's a lesser version of a Deontay Wilder in terms of what he does in the ring, trying to set up the big right hand. He's not as aggressive as Wilder. Um, yeah, that's my take on Richard Riakpour. <laughs> he's one of those kind of guys who hasn't impressed me so far. There's improvement there. Don't get it twisted. React Paul's definitely been improving. But I've never looked at him and thought, yeah, this guy is going to be a serious problem at world level. With Lawrence Akoli, I always saw him as someone that's going to be formidable, even for the world level guys. With React Paul, it's like, yeah, he can get to world level and fight for titles, I think. But can he really hold on to a title for that long? I mean, maybe he can. Maybe I'm, I'm underestimating him. Maybe because his talent doesn't jump out the way that other people's talent jumps out, that I'm not giving him his fair dues here. You know, perhaps that could be the case. Time will tell. But as it stands right now, React Paul is definitely improving. But I'd like to see him add more to his game rather than just be this Deontay Wilder type fighter who moves around trying to set up one punch. I'd like to see him be more than a one trick pony. And to be fair, in this fight, he did end the fight with a left hook to the body, right? I'd like to see more of that. I'd like to see him be more proactive in the ring. I'd like to see a more active jab. And I know against Southpaws, the jab isn't the easiest punch to land. Let's see him against his next orthodox opponent. I want to see that jab pop in. Because even if you don't have the greatest speed, which React Paul doesn't have, a jab, if well timed, can you know, compensate for a lack of speed. Yeah, Vernon Forrest was never the fastest guy in the world, but he had a great jab. And he was able to control much faster, more athletic guys like Shane Mosley with that great jab. So I'd like to see React Paul really make a concerted effort to develop that jab, control people with that jab, so that he's not just this guy looking for a big right hand to win him a fight. I mean, that, in that Juma fight, you could argue that, and I'm not saying that this is the case, but you could argue that he was actually behind at certain points in the fight. 
you know, that he allowed Juma to out-hustle and outwork him and whatever. And, you know, again, he, he managed to end it at the end of the day, but how many times is he going to be able to do that? How many times is the right hand going to be able to save him? I don't think it's prudent to rely on just the big right hand to save him every time. So, uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Richard Reactor's performance against Fabio Turchi and how you see him progressing moving forward. I know Reactor was calling out Lawrence O'Colley for a while and that was the fight that he was pursuing and whatever. Yeah, I, don't, I still don't see him being a, a, much of a problem for Akali at this stage. Maybe if he keeps on improving, that could be a more realistic fight. But if you were to put them in the ring together right now, I'm picking Lawrence Akali all day and twice on Sunday. No doubt about it. Anyway, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments.